Hello, Virgo, sun, moon, and especially rising sign. September 2023 is a huge month for you. You're going to be making some big changes of your mind that can lead to life directional shifts, the magnitude of which you have not seen since 2016. Add to that that the ruler of your sign, which is Mercury, goes direct, and that's going to feel like a breath of fresh air because where you felt stuck, where you felt like you were plodding and treading water in some territory that didn't go forward, things begin to really get new momentum this month. As well, you may get rid of those addictions, self and doing in bad habits at last. We'll talk about why as we get into the details of this month ahead. Before we get started, if you are new here, to to my channel. My name is Lori Lovian, and I am using the Western Tropical Zodiac and I'm using whole sign houses. I love the minor asteroids. Stick around, like, get, hit that notification bell, subscribe, please, because then you'll get to see so much content during the month when I talk about the various week of forecasts ahead, the monthly moons, and I use these asteroids to fill in those devils in the details. Second of all, I'm having a couple of short promotions this month, just for the month of September, healing with nancylin.com. My biological sister, who is a bit of an, a miracle healer, is having a special just for my people in September. You can get any, uh, you can get a 50% discount with her for a distance healing. She's phenomenal. And uh, she works uh, like magic. And her website, Healing with Nancy Lynn, her, the code is FALL capital F-A-L-L 15 and all the information is down below. Second quickie on my promotion. I have a Patreon community for five bucks a month. You get two weeks, you get one monthly meeting with me and you get all the content early access ad free that's here plus 10% off with any session with me. But there are other tiers with different perks. I want to lure you to try me out. And if you want to join in September, you get access to my $44 value 2023, 12 videos, 60 minutes, all signs. And the second thing you get are two free classes that I'm teaching at the end of October, um, August. You don't get to take them for free, but you get the replays for free. Uh, Chiron, the key to purpose. And are you my person? The synastry class for relationship astrology. So those are all gifts to you just for giving me a try in the month of September or anytime from August 20th onward. Um, the gifts will be available, however, in the month of September. All right, let's get rolling. So we'll start off with the idea, Virgo, that this is one of those incredibly important months of your life. I don't want to overstate it, but I'm going to try to give you a context for it. I like to teach astrology, not just tell you stuff. Back in, way back in the day, in 2016, Mercury did an elemental Earth year. All that means is he spent a whole lot of time moving through the Cap Taurus and Virgo part of the sky, six of 12 months. That's because of retrograde cycles. It's back. And so Mercury has been retrograding in those signs this year. In Virgo, right now, there is this retrograde story going on, and you last experienced it in 2016. Now, to give you some context, Mercury entered into the sign of Virgo July 28th and doesn't leave until October 4th. That's a lot of Virgo energy. Mercury, the ruler of your sign in the house of your sun, your moon, or more accurately, I think your rising sign. And so there's a huge amount of energy you're getting from the Lord of your sign. And this is important because he retrograded. He began his retrograde motion on, when did he start retrograding, Lori? Brain, come back online. Sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. August 23rd, and he finishes his retrograde on the, my brain, my brain, 15th of September. Sorry, guys. 15th of September, August 23rd to the 15th of September. The basic story is you're going back over some old ground. You're really rethinking some parts of your life, your identity, what you want in love, marriage, home and home life, career and purpose. You're assessing everything. And as Mercury goes retrograde, you're reassessing everything. And whether you're aware of it or not, this is often accompanied by a change of heart or a change of mind about some specific area of your life. They can often lead to a change of direction. As Mercury heads direct, okay, on September the 14th, 15th, 15th, you're going to be knowing which this new direction is as you have reoriented your reality and changed your direction because you changed your mind, your thoughts on something, you've reassessed the situation of your life. It can be any situation, as I said, relationship, home, home life, career, 
anything, but you're definitely on the reassessing page. And you did that kind of deep reassessment in 2016 around the same time of year. So August, September. So go think about what kind of big shifts as a Virgo sun, moon and rising you made in some of those pivotal life areas. That's the big news. That's the big story. As he goes direct, of course, Mercury on the 15th of September in the house of you or your sun and moon. If you're a sun, it could be a great new new momentum with career and work. If it's your moon with home and home life situations, for example, but if it's um, direct motion and your Virgo rising, everything in your life is starting to go forward. And that's why I started by saying, are you treading water? Are, they, are things moving slow? Are you feeling stagnant? You know, when Mercury is uh, retrograde, you have synchronicity quotients over the top. Pay attention to omens, signs, portents, and symbols, okay? And you'll get a lot out of it. Second big deal for you, and only you get this order I'm going to give you, is there's a Kazemi Mercury event coming up on September the 6th. Mercury will enter the heart of the sun. When Mercury enters the heart of the sun, this is important for you as a Virgo rising, and he's doing it in the house of you. Downloads, ahas, insights are coming through from dreams, from other people, from messages all over, big events to do with pivotal insights can be available for you on September 6th. And I do a webinar for every Mercury Kazemi. I'll put the sign up link in my description box below. I should write that in my hand so I don't forget for the Mercury webinar. And come join me with that because it's a lot of fun. It's free. You get the replay if you can't make it live. There's a guided meditation, but it helps everybody really tune into the asteroid stars and all the stuff going on with that Mercury Kazemi or Mercury in the heart of the sun. Now, we're going to talk about other stories besides Mercury, right? Because we'll get into some lovely Mercury action for you, like a really good stuff happening this month. But let's go into the other planetary stories. We have Venus moving direct on September 4th, and she has been retrograding it since July 22nd in your 12th house of self-undoing. You can usually look at the 12th house as your all-purpose catchment for self-defeat, sabotage, self-undoing self, uh, kinds of habits, behaviors, and patterns, quite often also involving addictions or a sense of dependency on something. And if that's been a problem in any area of your life, and my daughter is a vapor trying to quit, for example, um, you may find that this is going to allow, as Venus goes direct September the 4th through to October 5th, kind of like sober September or vape-free September, or some kind of ability to re reset yourself in this area. And also, if you're anyone who makes money from revenue across foreign shores and countries, especially if you're using payment processors, this will also get your momentum back in that area of your life. If your bed pleasures have been stalled because she was retrograding, you might be like, oh, am I off duty? Am I reassessing what I want in my bedroom? Well, now she's going direct on September the 4th to October 5th in your house of bed pleasures, your 12th house. And you may go, wow, let's get, let's get my groove back on. This could happen, you know, if you're with somebody especially already. Otherwise, you could meet somebody from a foreign country September 4th to October the 5th that you fall for and become in, uh, involved in a karmic and foreign relationship, possibly. Next. Okay. I want to talk about Jupiter. Jupiter is Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. He is going to move into retrograde motion on September 4th, the same day that Venus moves direct this month. Now, Jupiter is blessing you in your ninth house until the end of May next year. And he started going for blessings this May of 23. Long story short, anything to do with foreigners, foreign lands and travel, court and legal matters, visas, passports, foreign land travel, uh, academics and academic environments is super blessed. I have a Virgo rising girlfriend traveling all over the friggin' tarnation around the world. I have a Virgo rising daughter, got the best grades ever her last semester as this thing began to heat up for her in May and her exams were excellent. This is true for you guys till the end of May next year, but there's some juice here to consider something important. The deepening quality of a Jupiter retrograde to September 4th to December 3rd, so it begins this month, you're going to go back inward over old ground, especially if you want to have a guide, a mentor, a spiritual philosophy, a new path of spiritual attainment, but also Jupiter here can be much, very much a, a therapist, a guide or a mentor. You go back to an old therapist you've been to before, you seek out counsel from your pastor or priest that you used to know, you go back to an old spiritual or religious path or, or, or seeking path. But as he goes retrograde and he begins on September 4th, and some of the overt goodies of Jupiter, you know, like, hey, look at me, uh, I'm, I'm rich, I'm famous, I'm <laughs> super optimistic, can go inward. Less outer 
more inner, the inner guru becomes activated. So it's a very subtle energy. If you're a student and Jupiter's digging in retrograde, it means he's close to earth. I suggest you probably are getting very good study habits and grades down, for example. But if he's retrograding in these months, which he is September 4th to December 3rd, foreign travel, will be from place to places you've been before. He's going back over all ground. Foreigners that you encounter, they're people you knew before. Court cases that are active with judges decreeing, they're older cases that have research, that kind of thing. Now, when it comes to the other outer planet story or planetary story, just planetary, Mars is a big deal here because he has moved as of August 27th, therefore all through September into October into your Libra corridor of your chart, that pie slice known as your second house. Well, Libra is not a good place for Mars. He's in debility. And unfortunately, I think that when he enters into your second house in debility, there may be a temptation to overspend. Be very cautious, therefore, August 27th, all the way through to his exit in October, that you get a handle on how much money goes out. You know, you don't want that hole in your wallet. On the other hand, you could also endeavor to become an entrepreneur, a self-starter with this energy. And you may also slice, cut, and pare away at things in your life that you don't need. Often I see Mars moving through the second house as people are making big decisions to cut away from objects and possessions, such as um, you know selling a property, selling uh, a car, selling a piece of furniture in order to generate money. So you're letting go, cutting, ending possessions. And so sometimes you make money. Um, sometimes Mars here can bring inflammation to the jaw, the teeth, even the face, but watch out for teeth, you know, especially. and. Uh, you know, you, you could do dental surgery under this transit, except for his stability. So we have to be cautious. If you want to do any dental surgery for any reason or dental improvement, September 24th to the 29th will be your best bet. Now, I know that my daughter might have some microdermabrasion for acne scarring happening during this time. That makes a lot of sense because Mars is a god of surgical procedures. And again, the best dates for that would be September 24th to the 29th. And I'll explain that a little bit later, why that's so auspicious for what Mars is up to. Now, I don't know that Mars here is um, my favorite position, as I said, spending money. And with the South Node also present here, that's also a depletion of your earnings. And so there's definitely a slowing down in the money that you're bringing in in the month of September, cash flow wise, and likely more going out. So just be very patient because with the North Node moving through your eighth house through to Jan um, January of 2025, you guys are making money through other people. Your spouse gets richer or inherits money, or you do, and your joint resources are increasing. You're not going to be without financial resources in the next couple of years. So just breathe through the downturn you may experience in that flow of cash influx and money and earnings during the month of September. Be, be okay to, to just let it go. Don't stress out about it because you Virgos can be very perfectionistic and you work really hard you know so when you do work hard uh sometimes i, I feel bad for you guys because you work so hard um, and you're so diligent so yeah just relax a bit about this potential dip in september of earnings now the other thing i want to talk about we talked about mars and, and venus and jupiter and mercury i'm going to touch on the moon we have a we have two moons this month and i do a whole long videos on this so please subscribe to my channel because we'll go into super depth about each of these lunations because on September 14th, there is a new moon in the sign of Virgo, which we're going to address. And then at the end of the month on the 29th, a full moon in Aries. I really want to say both of those are on your money axes. All right. And we're going to talk mostly about the new moon, September 14th in the house of you. That's a day before we end up with the direct motion of Mercury. So you're baking in this new beginning, fresh start, of some magnitude at the Kazemi on September 6th. It's a real important month for the fresh starts in your life, the new beginnings. This, um, this new moon is at 21 Virgo, and that implies a sun, moon, or your rising sign degree anywhere, let's say between 19, well, let's go 17 and 23 degrees of Virgo. You get a lot of juice from this, a lot of intensity from this particularly, okay? The closer you are to 21 Virgo with your sun, your moon, or your rising, the more intensity you have. In essence, it's going to reset your life, not just in the two weeks that follow, but in the six months that follow. So I'm just saying, you guys are turning over a huge new leaf. Again, the magnitude of which you have not seen since 2016. 
And that full moon in Aries on September 29th can bring some kind of shedding some light on joint resources and, you know, chunky money. And we'll do a whole video on where that could come from, inheritances included. So you might, might want to subscribe to find out more about how that chunky uh, Aries full moon fueled by the North Node is going to play up for you at the end of this month. Now, let's go into sequential developments in a chronological order throughout the month. Number one, September 3rd and 4th, your Lord Mercury trines Jupiter. Just say, good news, anyone? I'll take it. Uh, happy information, boisterous, prosperous commerce, I'll take it. On the 3rd and 4th, it's Mercury as he moves through the house of you. Remember, he is still retrograde, however. So it's, it's, it's some boisterous good news coming from the past or that you may have expected, trining Jupiter in the house of academics. So academic positivity, travel opportunity possibilities, um, visa and court case possibilities, success in a third marriage, another meaning of the uh, ninth house, all kind of a nice sweet glow up and maybe a bit unexpected because Jupiter is hanging out with Uranus, but also somehow connected to developments that come from the past. This is not something completely brand new, but it is a nice feeling. Um, like my Virgo daughter might, for example, rising daughter might get some notice from her academic uh, environment that she's got into a course that she really wanted, but didn't expect she'd be able to get in or something like that. Now, moving forward, I already mentioned that Kazemi on September 6th. Come to my, my meditation class in the link below. Get really the most juice you can, Virgo, from this. You're gonna, you really want to harness this. But this is a big reset button as you get divine downloads from your own God, Lord Mercury, your planetary ruler, and the sun, the divine intelligence of the solar system combining to share with you what you need to know in magical and synchronistic and miraculous ways on September the 6th. September the 15th through the 18th is a bit of a mashup, okay? First of all, we do have the sun trining here on a sun in the sign of you. It is Virgo season, birthday time for Virgo suns. Sun moving through Virgo flowing to the shock and awe change god uranus so unexpected developments that make you feel vital alive enthused and purposeful connected to that ninth house which i've delineated right spirituality philosophy academia travel foreign lands visas courts book publishing and more then at the same time this happy surprise is occurring 15th to the 18th of september venus will get into the action with a the square to Jupiter. Now, this is her last square. She's been squaring Jupiter direct, retrograde direct, since she entered into the um, Leo zone in June. So June through to October, Venus has been traveling through your 12th house. This is why a lot of you are looking squarely at how you undo your own life, especially through bad habits, patterns, and addictions, and starting to square those up and look at them, you know, really look at them. Because you've never in your life had Venus, the god of pleasures, in the house of addictions like this before or self undoing. So this is a really intense June through you know, October for those kinds of matters or bed pleasures or foreign travels or pleasure from a foreigners or travel to foreign shores. Okay, that context aside, let's go back into the fact that she's gonna square Jupiter September 15th, the 18th. This can see, be some gritty tension that requires action and decisions to do with opportunities coming from the ninth house. Again, an academic opportunity, a book publishing opportunity, a travel opportunity, especially to a foreign country. Yeah, there's a bit of resistance or tension here. Maybe you're looking at it squarely from that, you know, re-identification of self and going, I just don't need another a vacation to, you know, a, a tequila site where I'm going to drink too much. I just don't need that course. It's just too much. My load will be over, overwhelmed. So you're going to have to look at the joy factor. Venus is like, where is your joy? Where is your satisfaction? Where is your heart in this matter? So those decisions are coming through 15th to the 18th of September. September the 20th, 21st, 22nd, there's a longer story going on. The sun is coming into trine with Pluto and Capricorn. Sun in Virgo, Earth, Pluto and Capricorn, Earth. Pluto is in your house of children, pregnancy, romance, sexuality, entrepreneurship, and creativity, and has been since 2008. I've never met a Virgo who hasn't had some really intense, life-defining love relationships as a result of this transit, and not all of them have been easy to say the very least. Well, as Pluto is going through here, or abortions, or miscarriages, or conundrums around children, and all of that, unfortunately, even some of you, the death of a child, and is this coming to an end? Like when we get to September, when we get to 2020, 
five, it's done. You're never going to have Pluto in there again in this life, but you got a last couple of gasps here. So Pluto will be here until January. And he's basically at the retrograding now at the last degrees, you know, 28 degrees or so of, of Capricorn. I think you're going to find that this trine is very positive because you're powering up, you're redefining yourself, you're feeling more in command and authoritative, and you might be making some kind of really positive um, decisions or actions or ideas coming through about entrepreneurial ideas, creative projects, uh, things to do with pregnancy and children and defining what you want or don't want in that regard, and also to do with love and love affairs. Big kind of power up moment here, September 20th, 20th to 22nd, but there's a glitch. And that is at the same time this is happening, the sun is opposite Neptune in the house of significant marriage relationships or business partners. And for some of you, there could be a, a pivotal, powerful moment of clarity and maybe disillusionment even of some sort as you deal up what it is that you want and don't want and make up your mind about an existing long-term love story, especially if there's been issues around sexuality in that relationship. On September 24th through the 29th, we're coming into a time of really sweet stuff for you. That Mars that's moving through your second house of earnings, that Mars who may spend too much money, that Mars who may have you sell possessions to, to culminate some money, make some money, is going to receive a blessing from Venus. She's going to sextile in direct motion from Leo in her big, courageous, lioness way, flow to Mars. Now, that can be a financial glow up if you make money from overseas clients, audience, and marketplace. An influx of cash, influx of gain. But also, there can be something to do with your finances that has to do with the some kind of secret backroom dealer negotiation or some kind of conversation. You may even get a grant or a stipend for educational purposes. Um, you may even receive money from a female. There's something good going on financially. I don't mean a mother father figure either. I mean, just a friend, a woman, especially if that woman has an ancestral line or an ethnic difference, a foreigner vibe. There's definitely a feeling here too, that with a Venus sextiling the 12th to the second house energy, um, you may have a, a, a divine download even. You get dreams at night and insights that come out of the 12th. And you may have like some kind of revelation about how to become more financially prosperous. But you could, may also be changing your values around that time. This is when it's September 24 to 29. Do the microdermabrasion facial surgery stuff. That's when Venus is protecting Mars as he makes sharp objects happen to your face <laughs> or lasers or something. So that's good during that time, September 24th to 29th. But your values belong to the second and some of you are doing some big value changes, going deeper into your heart and your soul, Venus, and, and looking for the courageous, heartfelt truths about what you value in life. On September 29th to the 30th, Venus will square Uranus while Mercury trines Uranus. Now, there, Uranus is getting a lot of action, right? Venus is going to be in tension to Uranus. Remember, she was in tension to Jupiter earlier in your ninth house. Now it's Uranus she's catching up with. And this is definitely something to do with, again, maybe a taking a little bit further, this opportunity that looks golden that happens earlier in the month with the Jupiter energy around the 15th to the 18th, and a second look at it, and maybe a breaking away breakthrough or break free energy as you make some pivotal momentous decisions around what this opportunity is or isn't that's coming to you because you can code Jupiter as opportunity. And then at the same time, though, Mercury trining Uranus, this is an interesting one. Around August 23rd, Mercury tried to trine Uranus, but couldn't we call it a refrenation, he refrained from making contact. And then later on, Mercury does manage to do that September 29th and 30th. Now, Mercury is your Lord. He's moving direct and he's flowing to Uranus. Happy, lucky surprises, foreigners, foreign countries, books, academia, uh, travel, visas, legalities, courts, um, third marriages. All of those things go boom. Yes, you win. It's happy. September 29th to the 30th. Thank you so much for listening, you Virgos. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to uh, do all that stuff. And, um, oh, I draw a card for everybody. Let me draw your card. I almost forgot. It's the Dragon Path Oracle. I'm visiting my 
my sister Nancy in my hometown in Ontario. And, uh, and I'm going to draw a card for you. It belongs to her. I love she's got so many great oracle decks. Healing with Nancy Lynn uh, dot com. Go check it out. Fall 15 for 15 percent off any healing with her. And I or maybe just the one the one time healing. But go check her codes. And also don't forget to try my Patreon community and get a bunch of two free courses that the replays are coming. Sorry, this is all in the intro. <laughs> and also check out the uh, and then you get all your 2023 all science videos, 60 minutes each for free. If you join my Patreon community, Destiny. Oh, I like this for you guys. I mean, come on, you can't make can't make this up. Destiny. Why do I like it? Because there's so much power in Lord Mercury for you. And so your life is being navigated by the a field of destiny. I'm sure it's just gonna tell me, by the way, card number uh, 15. Just gonna tell me what I just said, but let's just take a look. 15, 15, give me a sec. Um, sorry guys, I'm doing this on the fly, so there's no way I can put now. 14, here comes 15 um destiny yeah there we go so the dragon says if you want change you need to be that change not wait for others to do it for you you do not need their permission to live your life in your own way nor can they absolve you from your own responsibility it is your life your journey your path you walk your way so basically, um, we are facing periods of change and at times adversity. Um, we, oh, no, it's not for you. That's just general. Um, have you ever tried moving a large square, flat bottomed stone uphill? It's impossible. You need to come together with other humans and work in union, not in isolation. Take responsibility for who you are. Virgo, <laughs> hold your vision of what you wish to create and work together with others because it is your destiny, young Skywalker. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. Hit that bell, subscribe, like my channel, share my stuff, help me grow so that I am inspired to continue making these videos every month for each of you. Thank Thanks very much.